is Jetstream, and welcome to the Archive, where my knowledge is your power. And today, we're going to be talking about Suda. The one whose name escapes me, and for a good reason, I'm sure. The name's meaning is sham, being the thing that is not what it appears to be. Suits the guy to a T, don't it? But we remember him better for being based off the guy from the episode from Transformers Prime, Makeshift. Wheeljack, what are you doing all the way out here? Bulkhead? That's you? What's with all the security? The rock we're on is crawling with cars. A war hero. We haven't much time. Makeshift. The rock we're on is crawling with cars. We can get near you in the eyes. Sometime tomorrow, I push metal to the metal. See you soon, buddy. I'll make sure you get a proper welcome. I do know how to prepare. A proper welcome. Pretty interesting that once again a mech with the same abilities happened to make only one appearance, and for Pseudo happens to be Season 1, Episode 24, Ghosts and Imposters. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Gets me every time. In fact... <laughs> as impressive as Sudo's ability is, I can't help but his design is uh, his downfall. It makes him not exactly seeming very memorable, and since a ton of the time he's not on the screen as himself, but in disguised as someone else, kind of makes him even less memorable. But on the other hand, when you stand back to take a look at this guy's actual form, he's like the deaf version of the Cybertronian world. <laughs> he has a shadow-like color palette, glowing red optics, and a creepy crawly buggy likeness that you'll probably only see in your deepest darkest nightmares. Is he portraying an Earth-like creature at all? Well, he for sure looks like he does. He has four legs, but including his arms kind of makes six. Not saying that there's no bugs with four legs, because there are, however, none with his likeness. Um, also, just saying, I'm not exactly a bug expert. Since I find them to be, you know, creepy. What did you say? Anyway, <laughs> he's, um, looks, uh, kind of like this one. <laughs> no, 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 not the adult. The ladybird larvae is the first form of a ladybird. And little by little, it form changes to look like your run-of-the-mill ladybugs. But once again, I'm kind of guessing based off his body type. It's totally possible that a Cybertronian has a non-Earth-like creature form. It's more common than you might think. It's apparent that he don't exactly have a firing weapon at all. Same can pretty much be said about his transformation. He just uses the very fact that his ability itself is the weapon, using this to transform into anyone's likeness, which includes their very own transformation. To see if he can do this. <laughs> Accessories not included. He uses this to fool his victims in the past to gather imported and otherwise secret information, and deploys the info to either his own advantage or sells it to the opposite side for a price. It's very possible that they already hired him to put his life on the line in the first place just to find out what was hidden in that one bot's diary. <laughs> it 
It goes without saying that the Decepticon Super Spy is more than meets the eye. Even more so than the typical Cybertronian. Pseudo never hesitates to use his abilities to sow confusion among any what would be captives. After all, the one secret Pseudo will never part with is his own. This, this has been Jetstream! Wait, you're not me. Sure I'm you. I'm all cute and stuff, see? Huh, I guess you're right. Uh, anyway... Like and subscribe for more content! And remember, by controlling the web, I control the world! In transmission! I mean, what?